okay now uh, and say uh, f and then http and then controller and then out controller first of all we need to define this method so we will scroll down and then here public function set password request and request uh, request that's fine so something we, we will need here like uh, the validation steps after this we will need to find a user So now if we have not the user, then we can just response back with a, with a message. And the message can be something like we have sent a verification code to your email address. This is fine, and the status code. It should be let's say 200 okay and else <coughs> the random we now need to create some random random code so using rain So it will create uh, a six digit code for us and dollar user of verification code equal to dollar random and we will need to have verification code column in our uh, migration so in here we will need to add this column here it should be a uh, level like this okay and yeah so we assign this to the the user the new random code and we will now need to save save the user and if it is saved successfully then we need to do our uh, email stuff so I uh, will create uh, array information of user data and it will contain the email and the email is dollar user of email second thing is full name so it will be the user of first name uh, uh, we just have only a name here so and we also need to pass the random which is a 
end of code here okay so now after this we now need to use our mail and then mail send this will be your user data here okay and message from and the from will be something like no reply at laravel laravel dot view dot learning for example and here we can put anything like uh, password request maybe and send a return need we, uh, we need only two here so let's comment this and the two will be from this we can get the email So we'll get this email and the name we can get also from here like the full name and we don't need to copy it I also don't need this also don't need this and the subject we can use something like reset password request and laurel view priority we don't need this and also we don't need this so you only need these three things here and also we need a view okay so emails dot because I already have some some uh, template here we can check it here so I can use this one here okay uh, and let me show you this uh, it's nothing but just uh, a normal template HTML steps you can use normal HTML uh, without these styles, uh, tables, body, and all those stuff, but it contain just a design, okay, uh, with a message. And this is the full name coming from the from here, okay. And uh, uh, this is a random from the same location. This one and. Yeah, it is nothing else, okay. And uh, here is uh, a logo, so I'm using uh, software logo here. This is all here, okay. So, after this, we can check for any, any issue like if, if mail failures then we have to response back with a message uh, and if we don't have any error then we need to return back with some message If we don't have any, if user is not saved, then we also need to have some. So let's copy this same one and we will paste it here. So that's all we need here for this one. And the second one is to reset the password. 
so let's uh, copy the same thing here paste it and we will remove this from here so uh, email is fine here the other thing we need to validate is these are our fine here and now we have to find the user by email and also one more where we need here and if we don't have to use it then we will respond with 500 oh uh, no 401 okay and we will something like and if we have the user then we have to change the password okay and the user uh, verification code will be assigned to null or something and after that we don't need this here okay and we also don't need this okay then we will save the user and if the user is saved then we will uh, we don't need this we don't need this and also we just need to copy this one paste it here now the user is and the password is uh, changed successfully it's mean so we will um, get back to the user with a message like uh, and if we have some error then this will be handled here okay so these are the two methods we just created and now the time to test these okay we also need to have to use mail and instead of uh, nv here uh, i will use this mail trip.io so from there we need to copy username and password uh, you will do these by yourself okay we need one more thing and that is which we are to send migrate fresh i1 hyphen seed and also which we are to send passport install hyphen hyphen force okay that's it Please, but before uh, we need to do something here, like uh, you see, this is user data of email, so uh, this is an array. So we will need to have this here, and same as for this one. And another thing is we need to have use of this here. Now let's test this so we will have to go back we will reload this page and we will click on mike.gmail.com and okay it's working and now we have to check our email we got the email and yes and it says this we have the code here and we will have best code here and also we'll give it a pause for something like mic1234 this time and again mic1234 so we'll click on reset password and we have some error here and there is all double two Let's try again. Propagation code, code field, 
is required. Okay, maybe we are doing it wrong here. Inside our reset password. And this should be underscore code. And uh, here. Okay. And now this will work. Let's reload it. The code we have this. So we press it here and like one two three four like my one two three four password updated successfully but we need to do one more thing here and that is this dot router dot push and we will pass login Now we need to do the back step again and that will be my gmail. I think we need to reload it. I can it gmail.com Okay and we got another one. This is this one. And mic one two three four five. Mic one two three four five. Reset. Okay. And mic at the gmail dot com. Mic one two three four five. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching.